Next, we will look at the dangers resulting from a reduction in stability. While sailing in following and quartering seas, great attention has to be paid to the reduction of stability. The degree of stability is determined generally by the area of the water plane as previously shown in the chart. For instance, if a ship rides on a crest equal in length to the ship's length at midships, stability is reduced as the water planes at her bow and stern decrease due to the lower water lines at both ends. On the other hand, when a trough of the same wave passes the midships, stability is increased as the water planes at her bow and stern increase due to higher water lines. Even if a ship is in a situation with reduced stability, the time span the ship might endure this will be shorter when sailing in counter seas. Conversely, the possibility of risk is increased in following and quartering seas, as the time span is greatly increased. Now let's see how to avoid the risks stemming from a reduction in stability. The diagram shows instances of the model ship capsizing in tank experiments. You can see capsizing occurred around 1.5 when dangerous encounter wave grouping phenomena are more frequent. To avoid the risk of capsizing, Due to a reduction of stability, you need to have your ship sail clear of this dangerous zone to minimize the chances of riding on the crests of waves for a prolonged period. For this purpose, you also need to reduce the ship's speed or alter course, or do both to change the encounter wave angle. 